What would you do if aliens were hunting you? In the eccentric town of Noodleton, a young lad named Matt is about to discover the truth that will change everything. Young Matt grew up with an extraordinary tale in the quirky little town of Noodleton, where the peculiar and absurd were a daily dose. The Kruger family, who he thought was his own, had convinced him that a relentless alien race was after him. They took it upon themselves to protect him from these otherworldly beings. As Matt got older, his belief in the alien threat grew. He'd spend nights peering out of his window, scanning the skies for any signs of extraterrestrial activity. The Kruger house itself looked like an eccentric alien repelling fortress with all its blinking lights, antennas, and strange gadgets. Living under such circumstances wasn't easy. Matt couldn't hang out with friends after dark, fearing the aliens might swoop in for an abduction. Every creak and howl became a haunting reminder of the looming alien danger. But Matt had a sense of humor about his strange upbringing. He'd joke with his friends, calling himself the town's alien bait, which got both laughs and concerned looks. <laughs> One day, while trying to escape into the backyard bunker, Matt tripped over his untied shoelaces and landed in the neighboring yard. To his amazement, he found himself surrounded not by menacing extraterrestrials, but by regular-looking humans. Hey, are you okay? A friendly voice asked. Matt couldn't believe it. No aliens, he stammered. The group chuckled. No way, we're the welcoming committee. We've been searching for you forever. Wait, weren't they supposed to be dangerous aliens? Turns out, the Krugers weren't Matt's real family, they had kidnapped him as a baby. The welcoming committee was a team of interstellar guardians whose mission was to rescue abducted children from their alien imposter families. That revelation hit Matt like a bolt of lightning. He was angry at the Krugers' deceit, but also relieved to finally know the truth. The welcoming committee explained that his real family had been searching for him all this time, leaving clues all over Noodleton, hoping he'd recognize them someday. The blinking lights on Kruger's house weren't meant to repel aliens, but to guide Matt back home. With the committee's help, Matt reunited with his true family, kind, loving, and exactly what he had hoped for. They embraced him with open arms, sharing how they had never stopped looking for him. News of Matt's real story spread like wildfire through Noodleton, shocking everyone who had believed in the alien tale. Even the pigeons cooed about it. From that day on, Matt's life took an unexpected turn, from being hunted to being rescued. He thrived in the love and laughter of his real family. As for the Krugers, they were handed over to the actual authorities, and, surprisingly, turned out to be harmless eccentrics. The story of Matt's discovery of his true identity became the talk of every town gathering. He went from living in fear and uncertainty to being surrounded by warmth and love. But wait. One day, Matt disappeared, leaving the town puzzled. People feared that the Krugers had escaped prison to abduct him again. But the truth was even stranger, the Krugers were actually his real family, and they had lost a bet with the welcoming committee, who were indeed aliens. And the bet's price was Matt himself, whom the aliens wanted for some mysterious experiments. After all, why else would aliens want him, 